The United States Navy is trying to retrieve its most advanced fighter jet from the depths of the South China Sea, an extremely complex operation that analysts say will be closely monitored by Beijing. The F-35C, a single-engine stealth fighter and the newest jet in the U.S. Navy fleet, crash-landed on the aircraft carrier USS Carl Vinson during routine operations on Monday. The Navy said, the $100 million warplane impacted the flight deck of the 100. 000-ton aircraft carrier and then fell into the sea as its pilot ejected. Navy officials said, the pilot and six sailors aboard the Vinson were injured. An F-35C prepares to launch off the flight deck of the USS Carl Vinson while a second prepares to launch off the flight deck of the aircraft carrier USS Abraham Lincoln on Jan. 22, 2022, in the Philippine Sea, while damage to the Vinson was only superficial and it and the carrier's air wing have resumed normal operations. The Navy faces the daunting task of attempting to pull the F-35 off the ocean floor in some of the most contested waters on the planet. The Navy is giving scant details on its recovery plans for the F-35C, the first of which only became operational in 2019. The U.S. Navy is making recovery operations arrangements for the F-35C aircraft involved in the MIS. Hap aboard USS Carl Vinson, is all a spokesman for the U.S. 7th Fleet, LT. Nicholas Lingo, would tell CNN on Wednesday. Though the Navy has not revealed where in the South China Sea the crash occurred, Beijing claims almost all of the 1.3 million square mile, 3.3 million square kilometer, waterway as its territory and has bolstered its claims by Bill. Ding up and militarizing reefs and islands there. Chinese naval and coast guard vessels maintain a constant presence in South China Sea waters.